Grandmaster Hikaru Nakamura is no stranger to high accuracy games, but on the 20th January edition of Chess.com's weekly bullet brawl, Hikaru demolished Grandmaster Nicholas Theodoru with 93% accuracy in a one minute game. He also went on an absolutely ludicrous 31 game winning streak to win the event. In the end, he had only two draws, six losses, and a staggering 72 wins. It's also impressive to know that he played most of his early games, including one versus second place Grandmaster, Alexander. Alexander Bortnik with a serious time disadvantage. Hikaru, who recently became the first ever player to cross 3,400 blitz on chess.com, just showed why he's the GOAT of speed chess. Let's look at some of his spectacular games from the tournament. Hikaru started this game already down more than 11 seconds in a 1 minute bullet game. He has the black pizzas versus Russian I am Matthew. Matt begins the game with pawn to f4, the bird opening. Hikaru responds with d5 and we have the Dutch variation of the bird opening. Knight to f3, Hikaru responds with knight to f6. Pawn to g3, knight to c5, Matt plays bishop to g2, and Hikaru brings out his other knight to c6. Matt castles and Hikaru plays g6, preparing to fianchetto his dark square bishop. Matt plays pawn to d3, Hikaru plays bishop to g7, and Matt makes his first mistake, knight to e5. Matt should have played knight to c3, allow Hikaru to capture on e5, and black is better. Hikaru misses this and instead castles as well. Matt plays knight, takes on e5. Hikaru captures back with his pawn and play continues. Matt strikes at the center with e4 and Hikaru responds with e5. Matt brings out his other knight to c3. Hikaru releases some of the tension in the center by capturing the f-pawn. Matt responds by capturing with his dark square bishop. Hikaru develops his light square bishop to e6. Matt responds with queen to e2. Rook to e8 follows. Matt plays rook a to e1. Hikaru plays knight to h5, an inaccuracy, and Hikaru no longer has an advantage. He should have played d takes on e4 instead. Matt plays bishop to d2, rook to b8 follows. Matt plays b3, and Hikaru responds with c4. Matt ignores the attack on his pawn and launches forward with e5. Hikaru responds with d4, another inaccuracy. He should have played c takes d3. Now, Matt has the advantage. Matt lunges forward with knight to e4. Hikaru plays c takes b3. Matt plays a, takes b3, bishop takes e5, and Matt makes an inaccuracy, he plays bishop to g5. Hikaru responds with f6, consolidating his pawn up position. Matt plays queen to f2 and play continues until move 22 when Hikaru makes yet another inaccuracy. He plays bishop takes on e4 when he should have played f5. Matt responds by capturing with his fianchetto to bishop. Hikaru pushes f5 and the game goes on. Move 26, Matt makes another inaccuracy with bishop to a5, instead of the best move, rook takes e5. Hikaru capitalizes and plays queen to d6. Play continues until move 30 when Matt plays rook e to a1 instead of g4. This allows Hikaru to set a deadly trap with f takes g3. Matt blunders and plays rook to a6 instead of h takes g3 and is now losing. Hikaru also blunders his advantage by playing queen to b8 instead of capturing the h2 pawn with check. Play continues and Matt blunders again by playing bishop to g5 instead of capturing that dangerous h-pawn. Hikaru finally plays the correct move and captures on h2 with check. Matt plays king to h1, Hikaru responds with rook to f8 and Matt blunders again by playing bishop to d5 check. He should have played queen to h3. Hikaru responds with king to g7, a slight inaccuracy but the computer suggests that knight takes on d5 was much better. Play continues with bishop to c4, Hikaru plays h6 threatening white's bishop. White captures and a number of exchanges are made until move 38 when Matt plays rook to f1. Hikaru responds with queen to e5, queen c5, h5. Queen a8, king to h6. Queen to g2, queen to g5. Queen to f3, bishop to e5. Matt plays queen to f8, check, bishop to g7. Queen to f3, rook to g3, queen to f2, rook to g3, and play continues until move 47. Queen to f2. Matt is now completely lost here and checkmate is inevitable. He should have played rook to g1, Hikaru plays rook to h3, check, and Matt is one move away from being checkmated, so he resigns. Hikaru wins this game with 16 seconds to spare, even though he started 11 seconds down the clock. His next game is just as impressive. In this game, Hikaru has the white pieces against Greek Grandmaster Nicholas Theodoru. He starts with e4, Nicholas responds with e5, Hikaru plays knight to c3, and Nicholas plays the symmetrical knight to c6. Hikaru responds with bishop to c4 and black plays knight to f6. Hikaru plays d3 and Nico plays bishop to c5, preparing to castle. This opening is a variation of the bishop's opening. It's called the bishop's opening Berlin Vienna hybrid variation. Hikaru breaks out of theory by playing h3. Nico responds with d6. 
Hikaru had the advantage, but it's light. Hikaru continues with knight g to e2, Nico castles, Hikaru also castles. Hikaru plays knight to g3, and Nico responds with h6. Hikaru plays bishop to e3, a slight inaccuracy. He should have played a3 instead. Nico responds with bishop takes 1 3, the best move. Nico now has a slight advantage. Hikaru takes back, and Nico also makes a slight inaccuracy with a move d5 attacking the center. Hikaru now has a significant advantage again, but he makes a mistake and plays rook takes on f6. Nico chooses correctly by capturing on c4. Hikaru withdraws his rook to f2, and Nico captures on d3. Hikaru takes back and play continues, both players develop their queens, and Nico brings his rook to the half-open d-file, possibly preparing to double. Hikaru responds by putting his own rook on d1, defending his pawn. Nico moves his pawn up to the double on the c-file with rook to d7. Hikaru makes a mistake with king to h2, and Nico now has almost a full pawn advantage. Nico responds with rook f to d8. Hikaru plays rook f to d2, also doubling on the c-file. Nico makes the mistake of dropping his queen back to g6, and the game is even again. Then, Hikaru makes a mistake. He drops his c knight back to e2, and Nico has a big advantage. He plays the accurate bishop takes a2, and Hikaru lashes out with d4. Nico responds with bishop to b3, Hikaru plays rook to c1, and Nico plays bishop back to b3. Hikaru plays rook to c1, and Nico captures on d4. Hikaru takes back, undoubling his pawns, and Nico blunders a piece. Nico played knight takes on d4, allowing Hikaru to play knight takes on d4, followed by rook takes on d4. Hikaru then captures the bishop on b3 and now is up a piece. Nico responds with queen to b6, offering a queen trade. Hikaru accepts and takes on b6. Nico captures back with a pawn. Hikaru infiltrates the bank rank with rook to c7. Nico responds with rook to b4. Hikaru plays rook takes on b7 and Nico plays a5. At this point, Hikaru is completely winning and only has to simplify down to a winning endgame. Knight f5, rook takes on b12, knight to d6, f6, knight jumps to f5, pawn a4, and Hikaru captures the g7 pawn with check. Nico has no choice but to play king to f8, Hikaru plays rock to a7, immobilizing the king on the back rank. Nico responds with b5, and now has two connected passed pawns. But it's too little, too late. Hikaru plays knight takes on h6, and Nico responds with rook to b3. Hikaru jumps back to g4, and Nico advances his a-pawn. Hikaru, unbothered, pays knight takes on f6. Nico plays f4, but Hikaru also starts pushing his e-pawn. He is completely winning. Nico plays rook to e3 to control Hikaru's pawn. Hikaru plays knight to d5. Nico is forced to play rook to e4, and Hikaru just plays e6. Nico makes his final fatal error with b3. Hikaru plays rook to f7 with check, and Nico, who is six moves away from getting mated, responds with king to e8. King to f6 check king to d8, and Hikaru picks up the rook on e4, Nico plays on for a few more moves but the game is over and Nico eventually resigns. Hikaru ends the game with 93.4% accuracy to Nico's 82.3% accuracy. He went on to win the entire event with only 2 losses. Hikaru reminded everyone why he's the god of speed chess even if he's nerfed. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to see more chess videos.